two teens were taken into custody. Only one has been charged. And the charges come as preparations are already underway for Irish Fest this weekend. KSHB 41 News reporter Alyssa Jackson turned the mic over to folks in the Irish community now grieving one of their own. If you ask some people in the Irish community about Sean Brady, they'd make sure to brag about some of his delicious homemade meals. They'd also make sure to let you know he was one of them. In one of the oldest Irish businesses in the country, food is their love language. So for you guys. Welcome. Yeah. But today is not business as usual. We just we're all in shock. We're absolutely devastated by the shocking, stunning news that you thought was wrong. You thought you heard it wrong, and, and we didn't. Sean Brady, a chef who co-owned an Irish restaurant, was taking out the trash at his business. He was shot and killed after confronting people near a vehicle in the parking lot. Going in his restaurant, it was incredible food, and then he'd sit down and talk to you, and he'd want you to try one more thing. A juvenile has been charged in Brady's death, and for most people coming by Brown's Irish Marketplace, it's just the person Brady was that makes this harder to comprehend. If those kids had needed help, Sean would have been the first person there to help him. Like, that's what he was. He just, he wanted to help people and would have brought him in and given him a meal. As the Irish community plans to come out for their big reunion in a couple of days, Brady's absence will be notable. Prayer alone isn't enough. We need to take action and, and not lose one more friend. It's not business as usual, but what they all have that bonds them so close together. I read this morning somebody said food was his love language, and I thought that's perfect. It was. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.